Do you know what's hard to accept when your child, when your parent looks at you and said, you'll understand one day when you're an adult. As a child, you do not want to wait till you're an adult to understand what's going on. Uh, with the boys, when they want something from Walmart and I say, no, you can't have that right now. They don't understand that daddy might be saying, hey, we, we got to wait till payday before you can get this, right? They don't understand because they don't understand what the bill process, that we owe money people, that we have to pay this before we can buy a toy. But when they become an adult, they experience those things and they understand it for themselves. Hi, I'm Pete, and me and my wife, Shauna, on a daily basis, take to social media and share in Bible study. We're both ordained ministers in the Church of God, and we absolutely believe the best way to disciple your family is for you and your family to read and study the Word of God together every day. Today we're talking about Philippians 3, 15 through 16, and I'm going to read that scripture from the NIV, then we'll get started. All of us then who are mature should take such a view of things, and if on some point you think differently, that too God will make clear unto you, only let us live up to what we have already obtained. You know, the analogy I used in the beginning was that as a child, it's hard to understand completely what your parents are saying when they say, you'll understand when you're an adult because we don't have those experiences. Well, you know, there's some things in life that we cannot understand without the help of God, without the help of the Holy Spirit, without it guiding and directing our hearts. Uh, that's why it's important. And we ask you every single day, please, 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 as a family, study the word of God read the word of God and take the word of God because you'll get to the point to where the Holy Spirit is uh, filling you with that wisdom, filling you with that knowledge, giving you divine revelation and inspiration of what God is trying to tell you. Uh, there is certain things that an individual cannot understand until they are saved, until they have tasted salvation and the blood of Jesus Christ covers them. Uh, they'll never understand it. They, they, can't, they don't see things with spiritual eyes. They only see things with their uh, physical eyes. They see what's going on around them. They don't have the ability to realize that there is a, a spiritual realm all around us, that there is a heaven, that there is a hell, and that these places are real, that there's angelic and demonic beings among us upon this earth, and that uh, we are formed with a purpose and a plan, and God has that predestined for us to do for him. So until those people who have accepted Jesus Christ as their Lord and Savior, they can't understand that. It's just it's just a complete, what would you say, Greek to them. They don't know what's going on. But growth and revelation of, uh, of, of Jesus Christ is what we want, right? If you look at the 12 disciples and Jesus who walked and talked and taught with them, uh, he led them on a process of growing closer to God, right? Everything was about trusting in God trusting in the Holy Spirit, uh, allowing it to lead God and direct them. And we have to be willing to go on that journey as well. Uh, we can't be frightened by that journey. We have to understand that we're going to run into some things that we don't understand. And we're going to have to seek God out. And we're going to have to pray. We're going to have to read our Bible. Uh, we may have to consult some people who has been in this walk longer than us, maybe a pastor or a, a teacher of the word and say, what is this saying? What does this mean? What does this mean to me? How do I apply this to my life? You know, this was written 2000 years ago. Is it still relevant today? And I can tell you this, the Bible is still relevant today and we can apply its teachings to our lives and we must do so. So we ask you today to open your heart, open your mind, and most of all, open your life up to Jesus Christ. Allow the Holy Spirit to come dwell with you. Accept Jesus as your Lord and Savior if you have not, and allow your spiritual eyes to be opened. Uh, going forward, we want to remind you there's four things we believe a disciple of Jesus Christ does every day. You will seek to encounter God, right? You will get up and you will say, you know what, God? What do you want from me today? You will exalt God. You will praise him. You will worship him. You will give him honor and glory. You will edify yourself by reading the word of God. Get a plan. Same time, same date, every day, and discuss it with someone else. Uh, there's no sure way to lock it in here and in here than for it to come out here. So discuss it with your family. And finally, we want you to engage this world for Jesus Christ. Get out and tell them about how awesome Jesus is. We love you, and until next time, God bless you.